Hi, this is Dawn Monroe. I often get asked when I teach PowerPoint classes about what is a fast and easy way to load up a bunch of pictures to run a photo slideshow. And I've got a great tip for you. you this has been in PowerPoint for years, but you might not have found it. If you go to the Insert tab of your PowerPoint ribbon, there's an option called Photo Album. And what I would suggest that you do is gather all of those photos together in one folder. That will make it the easiest to select these. And then go to New Photo Album, and you'll get some options in here. I'm going to go to the file or disk. And here I'm going to jump to my pictures folder. I've got a bunch uh, saved here. I'm going to use flowers today. So I'll go in there. Now, this is just a folder I've got that I've gathered together a bunch of photos uh, of flowers. So you might be gathering photos for grandma's birthday party or the graduation or the big retirement party. Heaven forbid the funeral. But you can then take your mouse, and I call it to lasso. I'm going to lasso all the pictures. You could also use your other selection techniques, your uh, control A. You can do that method. Um, uh, you could pick and choose. I, uh, yeah, select. You could do all that. And I just grab all of them. I lasso around them is my normal way to do it. You could also control click any pictures you want or click the first picture, hold shift, click the last picture. There's a lot of ways to grab all those pictures. Once I have them in here, I can move these around. Um, you could pick one and you could go up and down with it in the list. I don't usually mess with that too much in here. I'm going to go ahead and, and just dump it into a PowerPoint for that. You could also click in and add a text box slide. Maybe you want to divide it up, grandma, the early years or something like that. And then um, also options if you wanted black and white. I usually do the fit to slide, but you'll see you have options with that here. And it allows me to choose a theme. I like the theme it's going to give me. It gives me an all black background, which is pretty easy for me to work with. So I'll just say create here. You're going to be amazed if you've never seen this before. I'll switch to the slide sorter view so you can see. It's all of my pictures and fit them each to an individual slide. Isn't that amazing? So it gave me a title slide I can begin with. This is the text box slide I added in so I could do with that what I want. But I just wanted to show you that's how easy it would work. Now you could go to an individual slide then and if you wanted to, you could select a picture. Let me show you how I would crop it to fit. So I'm just gonna um, zoom out a little bit. I'm using the little minus on the plus and minus zoom slider there. I go to picture format. And I would choose crop here. And so what I would do would be to crop and resize this. Actually, let me start. I'm going to stop the crop for a second. I'm going to just take this so I kind of fill to the edge of the picture. Do you see what I'm doing? Where I'm kind of grabbing and making that so that it fills. And so it looks like I'll have a little bit at the top to crop and a little bit at the bottom. You can see the, the actual slide there in the background. And then I'm going to crop. I'm finding there's a little dashed red line. Gosh, it's hard to see. I bet it's real hard to see on your screen there. So I'm doing that. And then while I'm still in the crop mode, I can adjust this up a little bit so that it's filling and it's a little more centered how I would want it. And then I click the top of the crop button when I'm done. Now it's a perfect background on the slide. Let's play it and see. Yes, love it. Okay, escape back out of that. So that's how I would adjust any of these if I needed them to be perfectly sized on there. 
Now, the next thing that you might want to know how to do is how to run it in a slideshow. So when you are running the slideshow, you can um, set it up so that it runs basically using timings on each slide. So you can, um, you can set that up. Let's go. So here's one place you would look. You'd set up the show. This is from the slideshow tab, set up show. And let's say it's um, browsed at a kiosk. To me, that means kind of like, you know, you go to a museum and you push the button and it just runs a show. So I, I would uh, click through that. Um, if you've added narration, you can do all that. But what I'm going to do is add some timings because see here I don't have timings yet, so it doesn't have that as an option. So I'll just say okay, and I'm gonna go take care of that. So first of all, I want possibly transitions between each slide. So I'm gonna just start with my first one. These are transitions, this is an animation that basically happens between slides. Let me just do random for this so we'll have some fun with it. <laughs> It'll be different on each one, that's good. No sound on those, but what I want to do, instead of doing a mouse click where I'm running it, I want to advance the slide and have it advance after so many seconds. I'm gonna do this short so you could see them, um, but maybe for yourself, you'd, you'd give it, you know, 10 seconds, 30 seconds. Maybe you want longer than that. Uh, I don't know how you're doing your slideshow, but you would come to each slide and you could pick your, um, pick your transition and then pick your timing. I'm gonna take off the mouse click. I'm gonna say apply to all and let's just check it. So do you see how when I did apply to all, it's going to give me a random transition and it's going to use my five second timing. So let's go ahead and, and just checking through a few of them. So they're set like that. I applied to all. Now when I go back to slideshow, set up slideshow, now let's use the, let's do the browse by an individual and use timings if present looping it, okay, until I stop it, and we'll run all slides. Okay, so let's do okay there. And now let me start the show. So I'm gonna click uh, to present. Here it's gonna run. Now um, I'm not gonna click on this. If I try to click on this, it's actually not gonna go. There's my five seconds. So I set this short so you could see what it would be like, but you wanna probably do a little longer for each um, image if you're doing this for yourself. Okay, that's it. It's working, it's running. Now, if you wanna add audio to this, I've got a whole nother um, a recording on audio, but listen, you could set up a playlist and run that on a speaker separately so you don't have to tie music into the slideshow. That would be much, much easier. So you could set that up like on a Spotify or on your um, your iCloud account or whatever, uh, your Apple Music, and, and run that music simultaneously while you're playing the slideshow. All right, friends, I hope that works for you. Have a great, great day.